Hi everyone, happy Monday, happy President's Day. My name is Andrea and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I decided to fulfill a request by one of my lovely subscribers. She mentioned that she would like for me to do an eye look using two of the Victoria Beckham eyeliner, Satin Kajal eyeliners in the shade Bronze and Olive. So that's what I'm going to do today. And um, originally, I was going to do a look with the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in the shade Mira, but I'll save that for tomorrow. And um, also in my video tomorrow, I will, um, I should be able to demonstrate using the Bobbi Brown Color Corrector with the Kat Von D uh, um, concealer, which I am wearing today. It definitely does work. And... Um, because my son, he's going to be going away tomorrow, um, to the, tonight actually. So I have time starting tomorrow <laughs> before I go to work. So let's start with the Victoria Beckham bronze eyeliner. If anyone want to see swatches, please go back and check um, one of my previous videos where I do show a swatch as to how this looks. So I'm going to start off by first putting this on my top lid. It just looks nice just like this, I'm telling you, but I'm going to blend it out to put it all over my lid. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Just going to put a little bit more here and then blend it out some more oh this looks nice oh i know the light you know what I, i'm gonna pause the video because um this looks so nice with the vanity mirror bright lights but i'm gonna look at my bathroom mirror which has more natural light and let me see if it looks the same i'll be back it looks the same. I love it. I love it. All right. So now I'm going to take the olive, which is the newest Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal liner. I'm going to put some here and try to do like a winged eye look somewhat. And then also put it on my lower lash lid. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'm just gonna, you know what? Screw the winged eye look thing. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit to my um, crease in this top lid and just smoke it out some more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I like this. I knew these two combinations would look so pretty together. I'm just smoking it out there. So you guys get a closer look. I'm not finished though. Okay. And I'm going to use my um pat mcgrath black coffee eyeliner i would use the victoria beckham cocoa but this is a tad bit deeper is a deeper darker brown and this is what i prefer to use on my waterline versus the victoria beckham cocoa I think that looks nice. Ooh. 
And then I'm going to use my, um, my mascara soon. Look at the vanity mirror. Okay. Oh, this is going to be such a nice look. So now the mascara time for this eye. Let me say more at first. I will say, I mean, although this is clumpy and stuff, it does keep my lashes lifted. It does. The milk, this milk eyeliner. I mean, not eyeliner, mascara. Now I'm going to do um, this next eye. Let me just put a little bit of concealer in this part of my eye real quick. Because there is some darkening here. Yeah. Okay, that's better. So now I'm going to do the same to this eye. The other eye. Okay, so that's done with that. Now I'm going to take the olive liner. get the Pat McGrath black coffee um, eyeliner to put on my waterline. My eyes are starting to water a little bit. Look at them, my vanity mirror. If anyone's curious. 
I'm also going to put some concealer where this dark area is. Okay. Okay, now I have mascara time. the look let me get closer you guys can get a closer look i'm gonna put more of this green here um like blend it out my eyes get really watery there so if it doesn't last there it's not necessarily the liner's fault it's just i do have sensitive eyes so, and that's the same for the Pat McGrath liner. Like, if it doesn't stay, um, just smoking this out. If the, even for the Pat McGrath, if it doesn't stay, stay, it's not necessarily the liner. It's just I tend to get watery eyes. And my eyes are watery. Once my eyes like dry up a little bit, I'm gonna reapply the Pat McGrath eyeliner. You guys could probably tell it's like watery. But just so you guys get a closer look. And let me just blend this a little bit, put more of the a little bit more of the bronze on this lid here and smoke it out a little bit. Okay, that's better. My eyes are just very, very watery right now. This is a very pretty look. Very nice, lovely um, combination. And um, I do want to mention real quick, I do have some other new products. Um, some of you may already have this already. I have Sonia G's newest brush. This is the Ninja Pro. I used it today. This is an awesome brush in applying your contour and face powders. Like I used it for my bron and bronzers. So I used it to apply my bronzer today, and I even it didn't even I didn't even have to do much blending. Like I'm gonna demonstrate it tomorrow, the day after tomorrow when I go back to work in person. This is such a nice brush. This was worth the investment. This brush is. $85. I know some people's like that's expensive, but when it comes to your if a person's into makeup, you will understand the necessity of using good brushes. Um, I did purchase another. Well, let me not say another because I do have two of the Dinah Samirix multi chrome kits, but since she's selling the multi chrome pencils and um single handedly, I bought one called Bronzette. So so you guys get a quick swatch of this um look at how the swatch is so this is bronzette so a more it's a neutral color it's like a maybe a brownish it kind of almost look like the victoria beckham one and some angles brownish deep copper maybe i don't know but i'm gonna try that out one of these days I did restock and I repurchased the Danessa Marvix Twin Flame um, Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade True Love. I already have that already, but I ran out, so I restocked on that. And, um, yeah, I will be getting more stuff very soon. And um, 
oh, I'm really liking this eye look. Like, too bad my eyes are watery. Once it dries up, I'm just going to reapply because you guys see it's watering here. Like, oh, let me get a... Yeah, in round or something. Once my eyes stop tearing, I will reapply. But you guys saw how it looked before I started. My eyes started getting really watery, but it is nice. Um, I just want my eyes to dry. Let me pause this video. Let me wait a few minutes to wait for it to dry, and then I'll come back. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So I let my eyes dry a bit. I reapplied the dark brown eyeliner in my waterline and I reapplied the green here. I like this look. I really like it. I like this combination. I'm really liking bronze. This is a really nice, once again, classy um, eyeshadow color bronze. I'm referring to Kavity mentioned that olive is also a classy color as well. What are your thoughts? I like it. <laughs> so like, once again, tomorrow I will be doing an eye look using Mera. I'm going to pair that up with my Victoria Beckham Navy Noir Blue Eyeliner. And also I'm going to use my Wayne Goss Black Eyeliner. I don't know why. I still cannot find my Pat McGrath Eyeliner. I, I, I don't know where it is. So I'm going to um, use the Wayne Goss Black Eyeliner on my waterline for that look. And I might also come um, use my Wayne Goss Blue Sapphire with it as well. So I'm looking um, forward to that look tomorrow. So today, another warm um, tone eye look. Tomorrow's going to be more of a cool tone eye look. So, all right, guys. I've got to get going. I have a lot of errands to run, things to take care of. And I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Bye.